Welcome to my channel. Today on my channel, I'll be teaching you how to prepare yam porridge. In Nigeria, this is known as asaro. It is a yummy delicacy. Trust me, you will love to try it. Come here and I'll show you the ingredients I'm using today. I've got my parboiled beef ready. My beef was seasoned with seasoning cube, onion, curry, thyme and salt to taste. Right here, I've got my rapeseed oil ready. Here, I've got my palm oil ready. I've got salt to taste. Here, I've got my old crayfish. I'm going to blend this later. Here, I've got my jumbo seasoning. Here, I've got my seasoning cube. I've got bell pepper, scotch bonnet, tomato and onion. Here, I've got my chopped yam. It was soaked in the water to avoid it turning brown. Right here, I've got my cooking pot ready. Come with me guys and let's get cooking! First, I'm going to start by frying my parboiled beef. As you can see, my pan has been heated up. I'm going to add my rapeseed oil. The hoy has heated up now. I'm now going to start adding the beef. In goes the beef. Allow it to fry for two minutes on one side and then turn it to the other side and keep frying until your beef is golden brown the beef as you can see is golden brown i'm now going to take it out and the next step will be frying a blended sauce which i will add the meat into um, it will help the meat to be presentable when i serve my porridge to fry the sauce i need for the beef i will need to blend my peppers first as you can see my peppers are ready in my blender so it's time to start blending it's ready now and it's time to start frying i already have my oil in the pan it has heated up and now i'm gonna add my onion in goes my onion allow to fry a little bit and then in goes my blended peppers allow to fry until it's properly dry then add your seasoning in goes curry in goes thyme, stir, in goes my seasoning cube, in goes salt to taste, stir, allow to fry a little bit. As you can see, it is ready. Now it's time to hard my fried beef. In goes my fried beef, stir, look at that. It's coming out really colorful nice and yummy looking it's time to start cooking our porridge first i'm going to eat up my pan add my palm oil allow it to eat up a little bit allow your oil to eat up for a minute and then add your onion in goes my onion Allow the onion to fry for 30 seconds and then in goes my blended peppers. Allow to fry for 7 minutes and then add your crayfish. It has fried for 7 minutes now, in goes my crayfish, stir. I'm adding my crayfish now because when you do it this way, it tastes better. Allow it to fry for one minute and then add my seasoning. In goes my seasoning, in goes salt to taste there, and then add my beef stock. In goes my beef stock, in goes a little bit of water to help the yam cook properly. Then in goes my chopped yam. Stir and then cover and allow to cook it has cooked for five minutes i'm going to stir it again as you can see it's cooking nicely i'm going to cover it up after stirring and allow to cook some more it has cooked for 10 minutes and as you can see 
my porridge yam is almost ready to serve for some people they like to mash the porridge yam while some like to leave it whole i like mine to be a little bit mashed and a little bit whole you know what just do whatever you're happy with if you like it all that's fantastic if you like it mash it's fantastic now it's time to serve my porridge look at that my porridge yam has been served with beef isn't this yummy isn't this mouth watering until you try it mm, do not judge it is delicious trust me what are you waiting for have you already subscribed to my channel if you have not go to the right side of your phone and press subscribe and also turn on the notification button so whenever i post my video you will be notified i'm sure you guys enjoyed today's video have a beautiful new week oh lest i forget next week sunday is mother's day i want to wish all the beautiful hard-working outstanding mothers out there happy mother's day keep going keep pushing do not give up you all are unique god bless you all thank you for watching bye bye and ciao